Let's consider an alternate way how we can include our front-end assets on our page. Because currently, during the development, those assets are being served from the Vue development server. And right after we build a project for production, it is going to serve front-end assets from the build folder. But for example, if we don't want to make those extra HTTP calls to fetch CSS and JavaScript files, we can also directly inject CSS and JavaScript code into the page. And we can do so by using vid class. So for example, I'd like to inject my styles directly on the page within this style tag. And to do so, I'm going to use vid class, call method called content. And in here is the first parameter I'm going to specify the path to my CSS file, which is app.css. And in the same way, I'm going to inject JavaScript code. But in here, I'm going to reference app.js from the JS folder like this. But there is something to keep in mind, because currently, as we can see, a script gets injected directly into the head element. But inside this script, as we can see, we are trying to add title element to the body element. But the body element, by the time this code gets run, does not exist yet. So we're gonna have to move this script to the end of the body element. So by the time this script runs, the body will be present in the DOM. And now let's take a look at the DOM. As we can see, styles are present directly on the page. We don't need to make additional HTTP request to fetch styles. And the same goes with JavaScript code. It was injected in here. But the thing is that this approach is not going to work during development. Because if I'm going to remove the folder with the build project and run development server, in the browser we're gonna see the following error that manifest.json hasn't been found. So to use this approach, we have to build the project first, and then the error is gone. But I'm going to get back our previous way how we were including CSS and JavaScript files by using the directive. Let's specify paths to these files in here. So once again, let's start development server and make sure that application works properly. So currently we are serving assets from the Vite server. But nowadays, especially when using some front-end frameworks, we tend to include CSS files directly from within JavaScript files. So in our case, instead of including CSS file as a separate entry point, we can import CSS directly from JavaScript file. So let's add an import statement for app.css right here. And then we can go back to index.blade.php and let's remove this path from the vid directive. So now after browser is going to fetch app.js, it is going to fire another HTTP call to fetch app.css. And on this request, vid is going to return us not the original CSS code, but the JavaScript code, which is going to run in the browser and inject style element inside the head element with all our styles. So basically, our CSS file has gone through this transformation before being handed over to the browser. And now we don't need to include CSS file as a separate entry point inside vid.config.js. Let's remove this entry of app.css from this input array. So now, after we're going to build the project, browser as usual is going to make two HTTP calls to fetch CSS file as well as JavaScript file. Link to the source code of this lesson will be in the video description.